What I want to do is leave you with some very specific things you can do to start putting these ideas into practice because behavior change starts with small habits. First of all, soliciting radical candor. This is a great thing to do in your one-on-one. -on -one. At the end of it, you're going to ask for some feedback. And I want you to think of four things when you ask for feedback. The first is have a go-to question. Now you've asked it. You've got to embrace the discomfort. Usually there's going to be a long, uncomfortable silence after you ask your question. Because again, people do not want to give you feedback. If you can manage to keep your mouth shut and count to six, someone will tell you something. Now it's your job not to get defensive. Now it's your job to listen with the intent to understand, not to respond. If someone gives you feedback, you've got to make sure that you reward it. Otherwise, it's the last time you'll ever get it. One of the things that I want to really stress is that feedback, or guidance as I call it in the book, is about praise and criticism. And praise is even more important than criticism. You want to reward good behavior. You want to tell people what to do more of. So last but not least, encouraging radical candor between other people. This is where you get your real leverage. Don't allow people to talk badly about one another. And share these ideas. Share these ideas with the people who you work most closely with. Your um story is going to have so much more impact for your team than my um story. So talk about these moments uh, that had meaning for you in your career when you screwed up and someone cared enough to tell you in a way that helped you fix the problem.